Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This is a heads up video on how you get infected with um, this junkware type software that's about on the internet. Now I know there's a lot of people out there gonna shout at the screen now and say, I would never fall for that, I know what I'm doing. Well, there is a ton of people out there that don't know what they're doing and they do actually continually click on this stuff. Now most of the computers I clean on a daily basis are normally uh, infected with loads of this type of stuff okay and there's tons of it on there it's not just this type of cleaner i.e. Uh, yet another cleaner it's not just this there's tons of them okay so you can use this scenario uh, with any type of junkware it's going to be the same idea of getting it on the system it will be um, be redirected to your browser so for instance you could be streaming content down on a dodgy site with proxies and stuff like that downloading content from a dodgy site uh, clicking on links or attachments uh, from do, uh, from emails and stuff like that it could be just simple stuff that you're doing okay and you all of a sudden get redirected and this is what you're going to see now on the uh, chrome browser here you can see uh, this white box is popped up and it's going warning your windows 7 is slow your internet its system will be slow and limited and so on and they're trying to goad you into cleaning it okay now the way they can clean it is by downloading their program and this is what gets you infected so don't fall for this type of scam if you are that type of person okay you know the saying there's one born every minute well this is what they're hoping for that someone will click on it and get get this installed on the system and this is how they will get their money and um, infect your system now the trouble with uh, Google Chrome here, you can see this uh, spinning up the top here, system notification, and you can see the link here. And uh, you can't close this down, it won't let you get out. You see if I try to uh, even drop this down or shrink the um, screen or anything like that, I'll close it. It won't let you do it until you click on this OK. And this is what they're hoping for, OK? So if you ever get this scenario, then don't do that, I'll show you what you can do. Now if you look at Firefox it's slightly different, it's the same link but you've got this uh, red and black sort of uh, chevrony sort of type uh, warning sign here and it's sort of giving you a warning to say that your PC is slow, exactly the same thing but slightly different okay. Now you can see this transferring data from ads down the bottom here, that link. And this is just the uh, link where, where it's coming from, as you can see. And I will post the link up so you can see the sites that are actually doing this nasty stuff. So what do you do in this uh, situation? If you are streaming content down, make sure it's from a reliable source, a decent website, and uh, sites that don't use nasty tactics like this. Uh, also, don't click on uh, stuff from bad reputational sites. You know, if you've got Weather Trust and stuff like that, you'll see that that site has got a bad reputation, a red circle. Don't go to those sites because this is the sort of stuff that you are going to get. You're going to get redirected or you're going to click on a link or an advert or something like that by accident and this is going to open, okay? Don't click on attachments and uh, links inside emails or stuff like that or in Steam. Do not click on those things because this is the sort of um, problems you're going to end up with, okay? So if you want to close these off, you can come down to the bottom of the taskbar here and open up Task Manager, and you'll see this here, okay? Application, and uh, you can close them down from here. So if you wanted to close this down, you could close that browser down and it will be gone, okay? That's the best way to get out of it. Do not click on these or the crosses because if you cl click on these, sometimes they're scripted to run and then you're basically going to start the process off. So try not to click on anything on this screen whatsoever. Always do it from Task Manager. You're much better off doing it from there. Okay. Now once you click OK, the, the window will allow you to shut if you want to okay but do not do that I wouldn't advise you to do that so what they're hoping for you to do is click on this and this will then open up a another page which will take you to something like this and you'll get step one step two step three if you see any of this sort of stuff just try to get back out of it okay now you'll also see up the top here highly recommended Microsoft partner gold application development don't fall for all that uh, flim flam it's all a load of nonsense they're just trying to get you to click on it okay so it's all about trying to coax you in 
and make you believe that the program is real. You'll see even stuff down here, spectacular, or impressive, all these words that will try to coax you into thinking this must be a legitimate program. This is exactly what they're after, okay? So don't fall for that type of stuff. Now on the bottom here, you can see a lot of browsers, once they realize that these sites are bad, they will do something about it. So in this particular case, this um, yak is um, come along and now been uh, diagnosed as being a problem so they've actually started to implement it security features into their browser and you can see it will say dismiss and it will stop it from coming down so it's going to be pr pretty much impossible to get this on your system using uh, Google Chrome that is okay and also the same thing for Firefox it does the same thing it will it will block it it will give you a warning message but if you look at here, show all downloads, you can see here it's gone red and uh, you'll see recover malicious file. That's if you want to continue to download that file. Um, sometimes some files that you're trying to download may be good files and they do get uh, flagged as a bad file and you can always recover that file. But in this case, you would not want to do that. You just want to remove this from the list and get rid of it. Okay. And that's exactly what you're trying to do here. But this is just basically a test machine, so it doesn't really matter. But obviously, if you did do this, it will recover that file. Okay, now you can see here when I did try to recover the file, it gave me another warning saying recover malware. So it's just actually saying to you, are you 100% sure you do want to recover this because it is classed as malware? And they're trying to uh, say to you, don't do it. Okay. So you're trying to say be safe and then it will stop that from happening, okay? And now if I continued with that, it will download. So you can see Google Chrome is trying to uh, stop this from happening. Now what would happen is um, if you did carry on with that, let me just quickly uh, continue this off. And you'll see, uh, let me just quickly download this. And I'm just going to quickly go back to the downloads folder. And I'm going to run it anyway, okay. And what will happen is you'll go through this process and it will try to run. Now what happens when you try to get out of the website for, for Google Chrome, you'll see you'll get this final notification here. And you'll say firewall alert, your computer may have been adware or spyware viruses. Install Yak Cleaner immediately for assistance on how to remove all these potential viruses. It's all a load of nonsense really. And this is what they're trying to do is pull you in. Okay, and you can see data exposed to possible risk, your credit card details, your email passwords and all that sort of stuff. Well, this is the sort of stuff I'd be worried about if you started installing all this junkware on there. Okay, your webcam trying to get control of your webcam that's a new uh, well not a new thing but people trying to uh, access webcams and stuff and microphones you'll see a lot of that stuff going on and as I said do not click on this sort of stuff so we're going to leave this page and you can see but as you can see here when you do click on it this is what's going to happen people then think it looks a legitimate program it looks pretty uh, legit it's going to download and start to install you don't don't want to install any of this sort of stuff because once you get this on the system it's a nightmare to remove because there's going to be downloading more crap and then before you know it the system will become slow all because of this type of stuff so if you want to know how to remove all this sort of stuff you can watch some of my other videos on how to remove uh, junkware malware all that sort of stuff they're all uh, on there with ad uh, adw cleaner junkware removal tool and stuff like that okay so anyway, that's just a quick update on how to watch out for stuff like this. Uh, I just wanted to cover one more little thing here. If you are looking uh, images and stuff like that, when you come up the top here, uh, this is the sort of stuff I'm on about. So for instance, um, let's just do, we'll just do tech, okay? And uh, we'll search for that. And uh, when you look at images here, the sort of stuff you want to be careful of is this type of thing when you're looking at images. Uh, they may look okay, and you'll go clicking on them, and what happens is you'll suddenly get redirected, and uh, that will be it. You'll be 
uh, redirected to something like that because it's a dodgy site or it may be sites that have got loads and loads of uh, nasty type of ads not the good type of not good ads some nasty ads and what you're going to do is fall foul to that type of stuff okay anyway so i'm going to wrap this one up my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos also if you've got any problems you can always head over to the forums and join the community uh, and pretty much join in the fun over there if not then i shall see you again in the next video so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now